Hi, welcome to the next channel. So I was uh, working uh, for a you know customer or client project uh, where in which um, uh, I am doing some uh, you know architecture of networking modules uh, which runs on a sort of fairly high performance uh, uh, server and uh, we are doing some test cycles uh, where uh, uh, we want to improve its uh, performance on uh, you know uh, a special uh, NIC card uh, called as uh, smart NIC card so I thought uh, it's quite interesting smart NIC cards is not a, anything new it is quite there in the market for a while and uh, it's not something we find it often in you know consumer grade devices uh, and often uh, the most of viewers who watches my uh, you know videos are uh, you know youngsters or uh, somebody who been in the industry for uh, maybe couple of years or so uh, along with you know somebody who is there also in the industry for uh, uh, more than a decade and something like that so whoever is uh, working for a while uh, who are into data com and uh, who are working in network software development maybe you must have stumbled across the, you know these uh, smart NIC cards but whoever is quite new always I do get also uh, queries from my student about there's a lot of confusion happens uh, uh, when they see the NIC cards and uh, they find uh, uh, you know I mean they struggle to find the differences between this you know NIC cards see you can uh, find in uh, you know all sorts of forms uh, uh, I got some collection of the uh, NIC card uh, see uh, this is uh, uh, one of my old uh, dealing uh, you can see there uh, it is not even uh, uh, you know PCIe it is the old uh, you know PCIe uh, interface uh, uh, and you can see there it is a uh, a Wi-Fi NIC card. Uh, this is uh, useful if you have a PC which uh, it doesn't have any, you know, uh, uh, laptop like, you know, Wi-Fi <laughs> internet. So you can use this and then you can instantly connect to your Wi-Fi uh, networks. Uh, other than that, uh, recently I got this uh, TP-Link uh, NIC card. Uh, this is my uh, spare uh, uh, TP-Link uh, NIC card. This is, uh, you know, one, one uh, GBPS uh, uh, NIC card of course it is uh, backwards compatible so it supports 100 mbps and 10 mbps and as well you know 1 gbps uh, transfer rates so this is uh, one of the NIC cards so uh, this uh, has uh, just uh, you know PCIe uh, single lane or something like that you can see there it is quite small so it just uses uh, one lane of PCIe so this is of course uh, you know, 1 GBPS NIC card. Uh, as these uh, NIC cards uh, you find uh, typically, these are like, you know, traditional uh, uh, sort of, you know, intermediate NIC cards where it may have some, you know, smart features where it can uh, offload, uh, you know, checksum and uh, stuff like that or uh, you have all this, uh, uh, you know, DRO and, uh, you know, uh, you know, as well as, uh, you know, you have this uh, receive off, uh, offload and stuff. So I have once covered an extensive video uh, episodes on uh, <laughs> on the same. So maybe I can point uh, my video episode so that uh, when you are free, you can have a look. I have even put some uh, diagrams and stuff explaining what uh, it may happen. So you can uh, do all sorts of things. Okay. So if I take you somewhere to my links, uh, sometimes I use these links when I uh, teach uh, my students and sometimes even when I discuss with my clients, uh, uh, I need to discuss something architecturally. I just, uh, you know, pick uh, uh, one of the, uh, you know, pages of my website whenever it is needed. So you can uh, find it somewhere here. Yeah, you can see here network packet processing offload. You have this LRO, uh, large uh, receive offload and TCP segment offload and uh, so and so and uh, what it happens uh, behind the scenes and stuff. So uh, in that way, if I see even my NIC card, uh, which has uh, inbuilt uh, motherboard NIC card, it's a Intel uh, controller board. Even that NIC card has some features versus this may have some features. So you can find all sorts of NIC cards. So I have even an entire, you know, bag of old uh, dealing knee cards so these things i i had it in my uh, lab in in the past uh, you can see there almost uh, more than uh, 10 knee cards or so i have these uh, things along with some more other uh, hardware so you can see that this is a, a typical uh, fast uh, ethernet which is 100 mbps uh, you know bandwidth knee card so this is again uh, PCI uh, interface it is not PCIe so that is why it is quite you know large over here 
right you can see that it is quite large compared to the modern <laughs> indian knickers so similarly you can also find uh, some you know weird configuration like this this is a gigabit uh, ethernet uh, uh, port uh, which connects to usb 3.1 uh, uh, i hope so no it is not 3.1 it is actually 3.0 so 3.0 to gigabit uh, ethernet uh, knickers uh, you need uh, usb 3.0 because uh, to deliver that transfer rate you need it at this uh, you know configuration you can't uh, you know make this nick cards with usb 2 and stuff of course i do have also other uh, usb nick cards which is 100 mbps uh, you know bandwidth which connects to that uh, you know earlier version which is usb 2 and stuff so you can find even like this and apart from that of course you will find uh, you know even the network interface on on a you know motherboard uh, on a inbuilt motherboard like in this case it's a raspberry pi and it has this uh, you know ethernet port similarly you will find it in the laptops and stuff so uh, the you know the bus uh, what uh, you know network adapter connects it changes uh, uh, based on that uh, what happens is uh, say for instance you have this ethernet controller see the controller will be there uh, on which uh, you know beneath the controller whatever the bus it connects it if it changes of course you can adapt that you know ethernet uh, port in this fashion so in this case uh, you know it is connecting through usb this usb will be connecting to usb you know um, uh, the host adapter whatever uh, in the pc or uh, laptop or whatever it is or even raspberry pi and from there it will uh, you know interface to the main uh, primary bus whereas in the case of pc uh, even if you connect you uh, know in an ethernet interface like this uh, a NIC card like this or you know uh, this way uh, more or less both are same unfortunately by doing this you have some overhead because uh, the data have to you know go through uh, uh, you know ethernet to usb from usb to you know uh, usb hub and then from there it has to i mean host adapter and then from there it has to go to pcie but whereas in this case it's directly ethernet to pcie so it is much more efficient uh, but this is uh, also useful in terms of its plug and play capabilities uh, it is you know uh, you can uh, uh, connect to a pc which is already booted and stuff or a laptop which is already booted versus uh, you know you can't do this at the same time you can't use this on a laptop versus you can use this on a laptop and stuff and sometimes using these uh, you can make your uh, laptop into uh, some uh, you know a test uh, uh, network router and uh, network uh, uh, bridge and stuff like that similarly you can even connect this to you know raspberry pi and then what you can do is you can uh, make this raspberry pi into a router and uh, stuff you see you can see there you have this uh, network adapter here and then you have an extra adapter <laughs> over here so being myself a networking um, uh, you know uh, you know data com uh, specialist i always regret uh, you know the raspberry pi uh, should have multiple uh, network interfaces rather than having these many uh, usb ports so i wish uh, raspberry pi should come with uh, you know a couple of more <laughs> ethernet interfaces so readily we can if it comes like that readily you can see that uh, we can make this entire raspberry pi into an uh, you know uh, a router and uh, you know we can make into a test uh, you know a network uh, bridge and we can do some packet capturing and uh, we can use it for a lot of other use cases on a you know uh, experiment mental lab okay not just uh, you know by you know putting this way and then uh, you know connecting that of course you can do this but unfortunately anything you connect it through usb it is quite fiddly sometimes if it may be having a loose contact sometimes uh, if uh, it is not properly gold uh, plated or if the gold plated uh, plating is gone uh, uh, there is a wear and tear then what happens is there will be always some sort of loose connection and uh, it can affect your uh, you know runtime performance or it can create any sort of glitch okay so which is why it is always preferable somewhat like this so now it uh, comes to a situation of smart nick cards see uh, that is why before even getting to the subject of smart nick cards i thought uh, let me show all sorts of configuration 